Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany once again. I'm filming this video in the future. You're gonna see this look later, this hair later. We're gonna get to all these things, but if you couldn't tell by the title, we're trying out a bunch of makeup from not only Ulta this time, but Sephora as well. And it's not just makeup. We've got hair products, shower products, nighttime products. We've got it all. And I'm looking forward to you guys seeing this video and me trying out the products. So without further to do, to do? Without further ado, let's get into it. Hello guys. I'm pretty sure I've already done an intro, so let's just jump in. Um, it doesn't look it, but I've actually already showered. That's why my hair is like super, super fresh right now. Um, so excited. I don't believe I've showed any of the products. I kind of lined them all up here like this just for aesthetic reasons. I know I'm so annoying, but these are all the products we're going to be talking about except for the exception of two. So one of them I'm actually getting ready to do right now, which is oh, ignore the TV remote because I was just watching Law and Order. I'm going to be talking about the Bedhead Wave Artist. I've actually tried it out once before and it did an okay job, um, but that was just me really like kind of playing around with it because I really had not tried it out before. I've never done a waiver since like middle school, but they're like trending again. So I'm like willing to give it a shot, which is what I'm about to do in a like sped up clip to give a review. But I also just took a shower. I left the product in the bathroom, so I'll be right back. I actually tried out this product in the shower. It is the, if it would focus, hello. It is the Mario Badescu AHA Botanical Body Soap. Um, I know that a lot of products by Mario are not great, don't really do much. Um, let's not talk about for a hot minute, everyone was into the facial sprays and then people realized they did nothing. I have one in the corner that I use as a room spray currently. <laughs> um, but I've just been always struggling my entire life with body washes um, for the purpose of acne. I get chest acne right here and right here on the back of my neck, which is really, really annoying. And I've always been on the hunt to just find a body wash that would actually help with this. And still, I have yet to find one. This is the latest venture that I've heard great things about that are actually supposed to help with it. Um, the fun thing about this one, it had this fun little nozzle that just like shoots straight up and you just turn it upside down and it shoots it out so it's really really easy to get out it said it had a grapefruit scent which i didn't really feel that i didn't feel like a scent at all i will say it felt really nice on the skin it didn't feel irritating at all i do have really sensitive skin and i didn't feel like this was harsh on my skin at all that being said i can't judge if it's good for getting rid of the acne i'm gonna consistently keep using it hopefully i can update you guys i'll probably update you on instagram or if this turns out to be a huge success, it'll be in my beauty favorites at the end of the year. Nonetheless, I can't give that answer right now, but that is my first impression is that I don't not like it. And it was a really good price for, it came with two sizes. I bought the smaller one. This is the smaller one and it was less than $10. So yes, let's get into the time lapse of me doing this. This thing has been heating up for like 20 minutes. The great thing is, Ooh, hot. It has an adjustable setting, which is really great. And the clamp can lock shut for when it's being put away. And it was a really good price, so. She returns, this is the hair. Ooh, I'm gonna turn the bed head off. So here are my thoughts. Also, for some reason, my one piece of hair, no matter when I crimp this end, it never looks how I want it to. See how annoying that is? Anyway, so my opinion is that it definitely works. It does the job, but I will say that you have to put a lot of work in with the bed head waver to get the look that you want. Um, I will say that some areas are like harder than others. I'm not sure why it works better in other spots. Um, would I say it does the job? Yes. I'm going to come back to you guys, um, tomorrow and insert the clip here so we can see what it looks like day two. So taking a look at the hair, if we're going to be honest, I put the hair through the ringer. Last night I went to go see my boyfriend. It was raining. I put a hat on. And then this morning I went to the gym. So I really put my hair through the most and I would say 
from waking up to now that obviously you can still see the crimping a little bit it's gotten a little flatter uh, but I definitely don't think it's bad as I thought it was gonna be let me try and like show it a little more um, I definitely thought it was gonna be worse but I don't mind it like this I am going to just touch up a few pieces but I actually don't think it's that bad I just like the way this looks I feel like compared to yesterday it looks a lot more natural which is kind of what you want to go for even though everyone knows it's not natural I think that's the vibe I'm like giving off the next product that we're going to be testing out and trying is another bumble and bumble product if you watched the other video that I did like styled like this it, I did a Bumble and Bumble product and I absolutely loved it. Check it out if you have not. But today we're going to be trying the Invisible Oil Soft Texture Finishing Spray. Gives styled hair a tousled texture with a feather soft feel. So it's supposed to be like sexy hair touch. So I'm just going to give it a go. Not sure how much or how little I'm supposed to be using so I'm just going for it because it's supposed to be like a soft hairspray which I do feel the like hairspray feel but I would say it's like in a non it's not as stiff as that like typical hairspray feel um, so I definitely feel like it just gave my hair a little bit more volume which I really like and although I feel the hairspray feel it still feels really really soft my hair still feels good I can't run my fingers as easy through it but I don't have a problem with that because that's not something I really do let me just finish styling okay this is the hair and honestly I don't mind it I really like it and I based on first impressions I really like this product I think I'm just becoming a true stand of Bumble and Bumble I would recommend this the only thing I wouldn't recommend about Bumble and Bumble is their price point they are a little pricier this product was $32 but I actually got it 50% off for one of their hair deals which was 50% off I can't remember if I literally just said that $16 but it was for one day only so unfortunately the deal is not going but yes that's that's the hair tutorial everyone so the last product I'm gonna be trying out today is the infamous summer Fridays jet lag mask I have never hopped on this trend it has taken me way 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 too long um, I got the this is technically the travel sample size which was who $25 which I consider to be a lot of money I don't know about you and what you feel but to me that's a lot for face mask but it is highly rated and highly recommended so we're gonna give her a go it it's kind of like a titanium bottle this is what it looks like up close so that you can see this is what it looks like and when I squeeze it out it's kind of this white clear look take the glasses off and we're gonna leave we're gonna put this on it feels kind of like a moisturizer which again this mask is supposed to be like ultra hydrating I am using quite a bit but I'm just trying to make sure that I get it all over the points of my face I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it on my hand now oh it says there's no need to rinse it off you just leave it on which makes me think i really shouldn't have done such a thick consistency but this is what it looks like and you can blot with a warm cloth to take it off which i am going to do just for the sake of it but it's almost like a thick lotion but meant for your face so we will come back in 10 minutes and review we're back the timer just finished um as you can see my skin has gotten a little red um i think that's just from wiping so we're gonna do the wipe into the skin method it just sanitized my hands so they're all clean and my face is definitely gonna turn red right now because I'm putting pressure on my face to rub it in so. it's not as red as I like thought it was which was good um, but it's definitely clearly you can see as I said I do get a little irritated um, but this is just like my skin's gut reaction so again um i'm just gonna jump ahead to tomorrow um 
when I filmed, you know, the hair clip giving an update. I'll also give an update on the mask and we'll be trying out the rest of the products. So see you then. Now, the Summer Fridays mask, I did this last night. I did my skincare routine like regular this last night and this morning. And I will say my skin definitely does feel hydrated. I wouldn't say, I'm like trying to find my words, like what's the right way to phrase this? Like, I wouldn't say I found like a drastic difference after using this, but I do feel like this is a product that you need to be using consistently to really notice like a lot more moisture into your skin. I think if you have really dry skin, this is gonna be a great product to use. My skin kind of goes back and forth all over the place from being dry to hydrated. I definitely will say my skin does feel hydrated. I wouldn't say that my skin feels dry or flaky. I definitely think part of it is to this, but I think part of it is also to my daily skincare routine that I just take care of my skin in general. But I think I'm gonna try using this like once a week and seeing if it makes like an overall really big difference. Um, but I'm not mad about it and I can understand the price point, but I definitely think less is more, just to make a note. We kind of have products all over the spectrum that we're talking about in this video. The next is two Batiste products. Um, I got the, it was buy one get one 50% off. I have been wanting to try this one. This is the waterless cleansing foam and it just takes 60 seconds to give your hair like an instant refresh. My hair still is on the cleaner side so I'm gonna wait to try this out tomorrow but today we're gonna try out the Batiste color protecting dry shampoo. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell I have color treated hair. I'm not a natural blonde um, but this we're just gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, I've obviously, you guys just watched me spray it in. I'll definitely say I have more volume added to my hair. I don't think it's left any residue, which is good. It says it shouldn't, which I am happy about, but I'm not sure what, I didn't know that dry shampoo could be harming to your color. But regardless, I do like this and I do think I like it better than other dry shampoos. It just feels really light in my hair. I have found that I have issues with dry shampoo later than building up in my hair and um, causing like flakes and stuff. But this one, I have a good feeling about it, especially since it's supposed to be like protecting and stuff that it's gonna end up being what I like. And I especially like the invisible because I do have dark roots. Um, I always find that like the whiteness always stays behind but I think this one is a win for now. I've never really tried Batiste but I think I'm gonna become a dedicated fan. Hello we've returned. Welcome back. Well you guys never left. I did. Um so it's been a bit. I was just doing like work stuff. It's now the afternoon. Um my skin is looking a little irritated right now. I don't know why. Um I don't think it's related to anything. Sometimes my skin is just irritated. Anyway Starting off, we have two primers. So Hourglass just released their new veil. I happened to be in store when it got released. So I decided to pick up the Hourglass Veil Primer. It's mineral-based, oil-free, and has SPF in it. And then I have picked up the Cult Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. People say this is the best primer to exist out there. So we're gonna do half of the face for each. Um, so we're gonna start out with, I'm gonna do hand cause that's just what I find works best. So we're gonna rub this in. I mean, I like the way it feels. It's like for something to be so gripping, it's very hydrating at the moment. So I can definitely feel it like sticking up now, but it wasn't hard to put on, which I was a little worried about. Okay, and now for the Hourglass Veil Primer. This one is struggling to come out. This one is like a white base, likely because of the sunscreen in it. Oh, this one is much more like Silicone based. You're just fine. I have no problem with that. I would say I feel like you can see more redness on this side. 
This side is definitely sticky and this side is definitely like matte. So they work in very, very different ways. So if you're open to a sticky base, I would go for the Milk Makeup. If you're more into the silicone feel, I would go for the Veil Primer. So looking now, I wouldn't say I can see a crazy visible difference, which is good. I mean, you want the primer to do its job, but not, you know, one be like overwhelmingly better. Just like quick patting on my face. This side still feels a little on the stickier side, which is fine. I would... Honestly, I say they're both great. They're doing both an amazing job. I personally wouldn't pick one over the other. I would say more for an everyday, I would go for the veil. But if I'm going for super heavy makeup, I think I would reach for the Hydro Grip. Nonetheless, I think they're both great. Would I say they're worth their price point? I definitely think you can find dupes that probably do the same thing that they do. It is just a primer. It's not the foundation itself or anything like that. So that's totally your choice. But I definitely do like them and I do like how my foundation has come out with them. Okay, for lips, I got recommended this from a TikTok. It is Essence. I've never shopped Essence in my life. Someone said this lipstick shade in Loyal was like a dupe for Pillow Talk from an expensive brand. I don't remember which brand, um, but it doesn't matter because we're reviewing this one. So let's just dig it in on my teeth. Ew. It definitely smells good. I feel like it comes off a little more orange than you would expect on camera. I just feel like it doesn't look that way. The lipstick like I feel like that looks different in terms of the essence as a lipstick it is so creamy it smells nice I love the formula it feels so good would I say this color is for me I would say it's a little more on the orangier looking pink side I don't love it maybe for this makeup look maybe if I did different eyeshadow um, so I don't think it's for this look, but regardless, I do really like this lipstick. So I think I would purchase more for their price point. I also got the Morphe 2 Glassified Lip Oil. I was not able to get this last time because they were all sold out, but they were in stock. I just picked this color. I'm just going to stick it on. I have so for this video i did not try it on by itself but i would say that it doesn't really give off too much color here i would say it's only enhancing the lip gloss lipstick which i'm okay with i feel like this lip is kind of a lot for this makeup look gonna be keeping this lip on all day probably not but would i wear this out yes i would be open to it the last makeup product is again hourglass we just have a ton of hourglass products that we're trying it is their Soft Focus Setting Spray. Typically, I always stick with Morphe, um, but I'm open to seeing this one. Okay, pretty fine misty. Okay, welcome back. I've put on mascara. I have actually blotted the lip a little bit just because, again, I'm going to be wearing this all day, and I probably wouldn't wear the combo unless it was, like, going out or something. I feel like once now that I've blotted the lip, it looks a little more natural. Maybe I'm also feeling weird because it doesn't really match the top. So just take that into consideration too. Um, the setting spray, I don't not like it, but I don't feel like it's the first setting spray I would ever really gravitate towards. If we're being honest, I think I would still stick with using my Morphe one. This one is just like a cult fave. I just don't know if I could ever get past not using this one. But I will say that this is nice. It was a nice spray. It's a good size bottle. I'll give it that. Um, but again, would this be my first choice? Probably not. But I would recommend this to others if they were looking for just a really soft finish. I feel like this really did give that on my face. So we're on to like the very last segment of this video. I'm doing dealing with two really rough pimples. <laughs> you can see that one. It's like, I feel like I mentioned this forever ago in the video. It's the Batiste waterless cleansing foam i shake the products a lot 
Um, this is supposed to be an instant hair refresh in 60 seconds. As you can see, my hair is just a little greasy this morning from the gym. Oh, that's because we're working with day three hair. So let's not wait. It looks like foamy like a mousse, but I definitely don't think it's like a mousse. This is what it looks like now. I'm not sure how much of a difference you can see. I definitely feel like my hair feels more volumized, which is good, I think. I don't hate this product. I definitely feel like it gives my hair a refresh a little bit, but I don't think they have three different kinds. I don't think I would pick the shine one again. This one is cleanse and shine, which I'm okay with the cleanse, but usually with shiny on my roots just continues to look greasy. So I typically stay away from shine products. Um, but I'm not mad at what I did with my hair. I definitely feel like it gave it a boost. So I'm going to keep using this. I definitely don't hate this, but I definitely feel like I need to give it more tries. I just feel like this is such a unique product, and I think I'd be willing to try out the other ones too. So if you're interested in like a different type of dry shampoo, especially if you get like clumps of the dry shampoo in your hair, I have issues with that. That's why I'm like so open to trying this and loving this. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts if you've ever used this before. Oh, welcome back to Past Me. Guys, welcome to the end of the video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the products that I tried. I personally love to do this for you guys because I'm always down to try out new products. If you have specific products that you want me to try out in the next video because I'm sure that I will do this again, then leave them in the comments below. Um... Yeah, I don't have anything else to say, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!